Hey everybody, welcome to another video. Thanks for joining me. Uh, my name is Jeremy and we're going to do a sketchbook tour today. And yes, I know that sketchbook tour is basically like the artist version of a clip show, but we're going to get started anyway. So I started this sketchbook about a year ago maybe. Um, no intentions of ever showing it to anybody, so this should be fun. First page, badass Sigourney Weaver from Alien. Ellen Ripley and Jonesy, done in uh, alcohol-based markers. This was a lot of fun to do. It was hard to make a decision for the first page, but I thought this was a good fit. I always wanted to do that one, still might do that one a little bit larger one day. Uh, of course, Anthony Bourdain, um, you know, tragic loss, um, huge influence on me, great writer. Um, you know, so many good things. Oh my gosh, I'm moving too fast. Uh, so this is Denai Gurira from Black Panther as the character Okoye. This was done in gouache and marker. Um, not a huge success overall. I think it could have used some more time to dial in, but it was fun. I enjoyed it at the end. Uh, of course, Keanu Reeves as John Wick. This was a combination of marker and gouache again. Not super successful. Some struggles there with the face and the likeness. Um, although I really like this one. Of course, LeVar Burton as uh, Jordy LaForge from Star Trek The Next Generation. Basically just uh, outing how long I've been a nerd since a long time ago. Uh, all in gouache. Um, Joey Ramone. Yep, gouache again. Um, pretty simple black and white, nice colorful background. Orville Peck, uh, done in gouache, um, badass musician, check him out, a lot of fun, kind of reminds me of like Hank Williams, but contemporary, super cool. Oh, um, yeah, this is Otis Redding, uh, done in markers, um, not a whole lot to say about it. I like the way this turned out. Pretty small, but good likeness. Uh, Ron and Russell Mail from Sparks. I didn't know anything about Sparks until I saw the documentary The Sparks Brothers, which I highly recommend, especially if you're into music and you don't know who the Sparks are. Uh, very, very fun. And after that, I did those portraits. Um, and this is like the weirdest one in the, the whole sketchbook. Yeah, I don't even know. Um, Ted Lasso from the show Ted Lasso in pen for some reason um, I don't even know if this needs any introduction but of course Prince markers again yeah I'm spending a lot of time looking at this one aren't we yeah I like that one really struggled with that one too uh, Hank Williams um, I think I did that one from a black and white photo. I can't remember exactly. Uh, I do that from time to time. There's another one later on that I did that with. Uh, it's fun, you know, way to like play with color and value. Uh, speaking of value, this was a self-portrait done from a very low light photo. Uh, the, the light source was a lower like um, night light in, in a bathroom. Um, casting just enough light and of course I, I heightened the contrast a little bit for the, the drawing but yeah I think it turned out really cool um, would like to do a painting similar to that at some point this is like maybe the first landscape I ever attempted especially in marker um, yeah a cool abandoned gas station that I found on a road trip with my wife it's like somewhere in Southern California I intend to paint this one much larger and uh, get a lot more detail into it and see what it looks like. Oh yeah, uh, Dev Patel did this right after I saw The Green Knight, which is awesome. I highly recommend it. It's very weird, um, very typical A24 movie, but it's a lot of fun. Very cool. Dev Patel is amazing. I've never not seen him be good. Oh, uh, Beans the Cat and Jeffrey Wright. Both of these are done in marker. No relation to one another, just happened to fall back to back. Um, Jeffrey Wright is just actually happens to be the very first video I ever posted on YouTube. Um, 
It's cool. I don't know why I chose them to be the first, but I think the portrait turned out great. A couple of hand studies done in marker. Yeah, this sketchbook was intended to be mostly marker. Um, it was like halfway through when I kind of started to get into gouache a little bit. And so fortunately, I think the paper held up really well. Large and Grace from Against Me and just being Large and Grace. Uh, I did a watercolor version of this on, as a video. Um, I think between the two, this is probably my, my favorite of the likenesses. Um, closest resemblance, but maybe the colors are not quite right. I don't know. Jonathan Majors and Scroobius Pip. Um, Again, two people who have nothing really in common, other than they're both actors. Scroobius Fip, also hip-hop artist, writer, podcaster, uh, just generally cool guy. Jonathan Majors, current badass uh, from lots of great things, including some upcoming Marvel movies. And I tend to paint and draw a lot of celebrities or actor characters in my free time, just because their uh, photos are the easiest to get and of good quality. Um, this is Idris Elba, of course, uh, done in gouache. Um, I think this was my second video that I posted a process video for. I think it turned out pretty well. Um, yeah, I don't know. I go to a lot of like strong characters uh, from time to time when I just kind of want to paint something to paint something. And that's really all this sketchbook was intended to be. It's just practice. Um, speaking of practice, this is some weird ass, I don't, yeah, I don't know, uh, color bombed coyote skull. I use it for reference from time to time. And of course, Kyle McLaughlin, Agent Dale Cooper from Twin Peaks with his uh, damn fine cup of coffee. I'm going to turn the page in a second. Sure, anytime. Oh my god, what more do I have to say? Alright, cool. So, moving on to The Log Lady from Twin Peaks. Uh, I'm forgetting the actor's name at the moment. Um, but this was kind of fun, just trying to get the like, patterning on the sweater and the texture. Um, yeah, uh, my friend Will. Yeah, just a photo I stole from Instagram. Trying to make it kind of look cool. He had some smoke blowing in front of his face, so really trying to capture that loosely but make it readable. Um, Shelly from Twin Peaks. I won't say her real name because I can't pronounce it properly. Madchen Amick. I'm sure that's wrong. You can add me in the comments. Um, Cheryl and Finn as Audrey, also from Twin Peaks. Both of those were done in markers. Super fun. Sam Cooke. Uh, I took this from a black and white photo and used obviously markers again to capture like a color version. And we've got a mohawked London punk. Um, I think I just googled London punk because I was really curious about some, some cool photos from the height of the punk movement. Found that one. Uh, so that's it for the sketchbook. We're going to move on to some individual pieces. Of course, Chevy Chase from National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. Um, this and all of the pieces, I think, from here on out are for sale. You can contact me directly, uh, or you can go to my Etsy store, which I will link below. Cousin Eddie. Uh, both of those are done in markers. I filmed a video of this one. I did not film a video of Chevy Chase, which actually I think is a much more successful um, piece and I had a lot more fun with it but you know you got to go with Cousin Eddie at some point and that's amazing. Badass Dolly Parton. Um, yeah I'm just simple monochrome black and white. I think I had three colors. Uh, another monochrome. Uh, Dale Cooper again from Twin Peaks. Tried to do this in what I call damn fine coffee colors. Um, all browns, minimal black, some warm you know, grays to it. Uh, classic Johnny Knoxville getting the alligator to bite his nipple. Uh, yeah, I mean, this one was fun. It's really just more of like a study, uh, but it turned out well. Uh, again, up for sale. 
Tyler the Creator. Been a fan of Tyler the Creators for a little while. Um, one time I ran into him, I didn't talk to him, but I saw him uh, flipping through records at Amoeba Records in Hollywood. That was a lot of fun just to kind of like see that celebrity. Um, that's it for those. Moving on to some other like loose pieces. Sailor Jerry Collins. This was done in gouache. Um, I think it turned out really well. It's one of my favorite pieces right now. I'd like to sell it, uh, but if I don't sell it, I'm probably just going to frame it and put it on my wall because it's got a lot of meaning to me. Uh, just a photo I googled, but uh, just, I don't know, I think it turned out really cool. And next up is a little study of Rasputin. If you are unaware of who Rasputin is or what his significance in history is, definitely do some research because he is a weirdo. Very interesting. Um, just beyond bizarre though. And last up is this gouache study of a leather riding glove. I really like the way it turned out. Um, no real significance, just kind of like a fun thing to paint. Lots of weird light reflections and texture and uh, something interesting to try and like capture. Overall, I think it was successful. And that's pretty much it for the tour. Thanks for joining me and sticking around. Hope you liked everything. Leave me a comment below with some of your favorites uh, or anything you'd like to see me paint in my spare time in the future. All uh, paintings and drawings that are for sale will be posted in the link in the description below. If you haven't already, like and subscribe and join me for the next video. Alright, thanks.